Hi there, Jen Roke here at Stamp Camp with Jen.com. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Summerfield, Florida, and welcome to my weekly Facebook Live. Happy early Independence Day if you're watching live. This is the day before. Um, if you're watching the next day on my replay, today is Independence Day, and I hope you guys have a great day today. Whatever you have planned, enjoying America's birthday. Happy birthday to America. Yay! <laughs> Um, as you guys join, those of you that are joining me live, be sure to say hello. Let me know where you're joining from. Do you have any great um, Independence Day plans? Do you have any cookouts, going to see fireworks, or maybe just getting together with friends and neighbors? I'd love to hear all about it. So we have a really cool um, fun fold today that I thought was pretty appropriate considering um, it's summertime, 4th of July. Um, I'm calling it a pinwheel fun fold card. Um, so pinwheels are really summery. So I thought this was a perfect card to do today. So I'm going to flip the camera around and I'm going to go over a couple things real quick that are coming up on Thursday. Um, just to kind of remind everybody, get you guys ready for the week and then we'll get started on our project. It's really quick and easy. I think you guys are really going to like it. So let me flip the camera around real fast here and we'll get going. All right. So just a quick reminder, I've kind of talked to you guys about this before, but this Thursday, there are going to be new online exclusives. So we've all kind of seen this picture circling around the internet. Um, the online exclusives, there's three releases throughout the year, and this is the newest one. Um, as you can see, it's going to be holiday themed. Um, and as always, these products are never guaranteed to last. So um, if there's something you really want, like I know a lot of people are really excited about this truck punch. I have a feeling this is going to go on back order or out of stock very quickly. So if that's something you're interested in, I would hop on there as soon as possible um, and get that in your order. Okay. So Thursday is when all the new stuff is going to be released. Um, I will have this in my blog post so that you can click on the little shop now to take you to the online exclusives. If you're not sure how to find them, all you do is you go to stampinup.com and the top left-hand corner, you'll see three little um, bars. You click on that to shop and then you go to shop products and under there, it's all alphabetized. You should see online exclusives and click there. Online exclusives are only available online. They're not available in any catalog. Um, so there are things like um, old stamp set, not old, but there's stamp sets and um, ribbons and trims and all kinds of stuff. I think those little tumblers, the in-color tumblers that were all glittery, those are on there because they're only online. They're not in catalogs anymore. So um, that's all you have to do is just go to shop and look down the little uh, menu for online exclusives and you'll be you'll be able to see everything right there. And Stampin' Up! is really good about whenever something new comes out and you go to stampinup.com, it's usually right there on the main screen too. So you'll be able to see it. And then something really exciting, bonus days is coming back. So starting Thursday, the same day, as the online exclusives, you'll be able to earn bonus days coupons. So for every $50 you spend, you get a $5 coupon that's before shipping and tax. Um, and it starts Thursday and goes to the end of the month to July 31st. Okay. So for every $50 increment and in a single order. So if you place a hundred dollar order, you'll get two bonus $5 bonus days coupons. Okay. Um, and you can place as many orders as you want, um, to earn as many coupons as you want. Now you will be getting an email after you submit your order from Stampin' Up! with your codes for your coupons. Save those emails because that's how you're going to redeem your coupons in August. You'll have, I believe the whole month of August, the first through the 31st to redeem your coupons. Okay. And then after that, they just expire. So um, save those emails with the coupon codes um, because otherwise you'll have to call Stampin' Up! and ask them for the codes. And I don't 
think that's going to be very fun to do. <laughs> so just save them in a little folder, print them out, whatever you want to do. Um, I usually make a little folder in my email and label it bonus days and save those emails in there. So all I have to do is copy and paste them when I'm ready to redeem them in August. Okay. Um, and then if you use my host code, I'd really appreciate it. If your order is under $150, you can earn those rewards points towards getting a free uh, $50 shopping spree with me. If your order is over $150, don't worry about my host code. Code, just enjoy your stamping rewards as well as your bonus days coupons that you'll receive okay all right so that's my little reminder for today now the card that we're gonna do is this card um, my friend Joni shared this little tutorial with me and I thought this was so much fun um, she got it from Karen Titus um, and I just thought this was so cute and quick and easy so Karen calls it just a fun fold card um, but I thought it looked like a little pinwheel, so I'm calling it a pinwheel fun fold card. But all this is, this piece is actually a little six by six piece that you cut and fold, and it's really quick and easy, and I just love that. So I'm gonna show you how to make this today. Isn't that so much fun? You put a little, I just did a little stamping in here for like a little surprise message, because it's still a card, so you're still gonna have a liner in here and write a message. So I just thought, you just put a little surprise message in here and that way whenever somebody gets it, it's like a little um, surprise when they open it. It's really fun. So you really just, when you go to close it, you close it like you would a cardboard box that you're gonna close and that's how you get it to close back up. Really fun though, right? So we're using the Inked Botanicals Designer Series paper. Okay, there's a bunch of different like fall type colors and patterns in here. Um, they've got some plaids and, oh, that's not, that's from a different paper pack. I was playing around with stuff. Um, but they've got some flowers, some leaves, some plaids. There's a bunch of yellows on the back. I think crushed curry is the big color in here, but all these different patterns are just so pretty. And I thought it went really well with that season of chic um, leaf that's in there. So that's why I chose this to go with this card today. Really fun. Let's see. Oh, here's another pattern. Just really cool. I really like the colors for fall. I think this pack is going to be really, really popular when fall comes around. It's got Lost Lagoon, uh, Calypso Curry, or Calypso Curry, Calypso Coral, Crushed Curry. Um, let's see, this is the pattern we're going to use for our card, this one just a bunch of different stuff and then one else pool party and petal pink those are the big colors in there so lots of pretty patterns pretty fall patterns let's see what other ones oh this is a good one too with those little flowers on the back I just really like those yep it's a six by six pack and that's perfect because that's what we need for our little pinwheel piece on the front here it's funny because Joni showed me this uh, card tutorial and I hadn't seen it. And then all of a sudden now I've seen a bunch of them on Pinterest <laughs> since she showed me. Of course, that's always how it goes. So we're going to use Lost Lagoon, our little card base here. So I'm going to go ahead and fold that. Okay. And then I took another Lost Lagoon piece. We're going to emboss this with the... Painted Texture 3D. I just wanted something, a little extra dimension on the back there. You could even, that's why I pulled out some of those pieces of paper was because I was thinking about maybe just putting like a piece of designer series paper on the back instead of doing the embossing. You could do that too. I think I'm gonna stick with the embossing folder though. I kind of like that look, it's kind of subtle. Um, and then this is Calypso Coral that we're gonna do behind this pinwheel piece. This is three and a quarter inch square. And then the square that goes inside that we're gonna stamp on is a two and three quarter inch square. And then this little strip here that we're gonna do for our sentiment is one inch by four and a quarter. And this will all be in the tutorial that I'll post at stampcampwithjen.com, okay? So I'm gonna put this kind of in the corner up here so you can still see it while we're working. Now, let's do the pinwheel part first. So, like I said, you just need a six by six piece of paper. And then we're gonna grab our paper trimmer. And what you wanna do is you wanna score it. I'll move that out of the way for just a second. You wanna score at one and a half inch all the way around on each side. So we're gonna use that light gray scoring and just score at one and a half inch all the way around here. 
okay, on all four sides. I thought about doing one with like 4th of July colors since 4th of July is tomorrow, but I was like, eh, I'll just stick with this. I liked how that matched up with um, this little leaf here from that season of chic. It kind of matches with those leaves in the background. So I like that and I just kind of stuck with that. Get my trimmer out of the way here. Okay, so I'm just going to, to make it easier because there's such a busy pattern on here, I'm going to fold and burnish just to make it easier for me to see those score lines where I need to cut. So I'm just gonna on all four of those lines here, fold and burnish, okay. So these corner pieces here, you can kind of see there's a little corner on all those, all four of those corners, we're gonna cut those away, okay. So quick and easy, I love this. I sent uh, a picture of this to Joni today, and I said, what do you think? And she's like, oh my God, I love it. I've made so many of these cards. It's such a cool, fun fold. It's just, it really is. I love it. I don't know where people come up with this stuff. And it's so simple too. Those are always the, great, the greatest ones, the simple ones that you can just make a bunch of cute cards with. And I like that it's like a little surprise on the inside too. I think that's fun. We're just gonna snip those corners away and you can save those squares. I don't, I'm just gonna throw them away. But I know a lot of people like to save those little pieces and make you know little cards or projects with them later and do whatever you need to do with those. But I am just gonna throw them away. Okay, so whichever side you want to be the inside needs, I'm trying to remember. Yeah, so whichever side you want to be the inside needs to be face down. So we want this to be the inside, so this needs to be face down. So we're gonna take the top corner here and we're gonna fold it to meet that score line. Just like that. And we're gonna do that with each of these flaps here. Okay. So I really like that leaf pattern on the inside since I'm gonna be stamping that leaf. So the inside, whatever you want the inside to do to be needs to be face down when you're doing this. It feels wrong, like it's the opposite of what you should be doing, but that's the right way. So like I said, I'm gonna have this on the inside, so we're gonna do it, we're gonna fold it like that, okay? So now I, should, I actually folded it backwards, but that's okay because we're gonna put our little stamped image on the inside here like that. And these are all gonna come in just like this and fold over. Okay, so actually when I folded them, I folded them backwards but on the scores, but that's okay. We can always work it around the other way. It's not a big deal. Okay. There we go. Okay, so that's our little pinwheel piece. And like I said, it's just like a box. You just kind of fold it over. And then when you get to that last little corner, you just kind of tuck it in. And that's how you make your little pinwheel, okay? So for the inside, I'll just put that to the side for right now. So for the inside, we have our little uh, two and three quarter inch square. And I have Pool Party ink. And I don't know if you guys haven't seen my YouTube short video. If you guys have a hard time opening these pads, take your thumbs towards the end here and push down and that opening will just pop right open. I know a lot of people, especially with the newer pads, they get really tight and they're really hard to open. So that's all you have to do. So we're taking this leaf. This is um, the one that has more of the opening. It's more of the outline of the leaf from the Season of Chic stamp set. We're gonna use that and stamp our leaf and pool party. And we're just gonna do it right in the center. And it's gonna be a little light, but that's okay. We just want it kind of like a background image. Hi, Sylvia, did you creep on? I must have missed you when I was putting my pinwheel together. Now we're gonna grab Lost Lagoon. And we're again, if you have trouble, use your thumbs and push along that hinge and it'll just pop right open, okay? I love that little tip, it helps so much. So now we're using 
the You Are Amazing Beyond Measure from Season of Chic. And we're just gonna stamp that right over the center of that leaf. And that's kind of why we wanted that light color for the leaf, because we want the words to really pop over that. So pretty, right? Let's see if you can see it a little better that way. I just love how that looks, very nice. Okay. And then while I have my ink pad open, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab my basic white piece that I have here. And we're gonna stamp thanks also in Lost Lagoon. And that's also from the stamp set I'll show you in a second. Just like that, okay? So again, from Season of Chic, we use that thanks for that little strip right there, okay? And that's our stamping. So get that all done and all together. And now we'll do a little embossing and then we'll put the whole thing together and it'll be done. So quick and easy, right? So I have all my little pieces all scattered around here. So like I said, we're just gonna use painted texture and we're gonna emboss that little background piece. So I'm gonna grab my embossing folder, or my embossing machine here. And I don't know if you guys have ever known this, but you notice there's this little line on your embossing folder. You can actually flip over your embossing folder to the inside and use that line to line up the edge of your paper um, to make sure that the pattern that you're embossing is straight on your paper. Somebody shared that with me a couple years ago and I thought that was a really cool tip. I didn't know that that line had a purpose. <laughs> <laughs> that was just decoration. But I, since somebody shared that with me, I use that all the time now. I never knew that that line actually did something. All right. So there we go. So now we have that little, you know, embossed look from the painted texture 3D embossing folder. That's a fun one. I really like that. You can really use it for so many different things. All right, so let's put this bad boy together. So we're gonna put our embossed piece on first. I'm just using some Stampin' Seal Plus. You could use um, liquid glue, whatever you're comfortable with. Just something that needs, that has a strong hold because especially when you have embossed pieces like this, you really need to make sure um, that you have something that's really strong because there's so many different edges on there, you want it to really hold really well. Um, some of the gaps could kind of lift up if you don't have something that's really strong. Okay, so there's our base. Now, I think what's easiest is kind of putting this on first and then kind of centering this along the edge of our um, embossed piece of our card here. So I like to just kind of lay it out like this to kind of center everything. So you want kind of an even edge, it's probably about half an inch on the sides of the embossed piece and that top of the embossed layer, okay? And then we're actually gonna use dimensionals for this piece here for the thanks because there's so much dimension from your um, pinwheel that popping up this thanks piece is not gonna make a difference. It's not gonna hurt that card. It's already got a lot of um, dimension from the pinwheel, so it'll be okay to pop this up too. Do you guys like my nails? I got glittery nails. It's kind of hard to see, but there is glitter in there. I got like a blue glitter for 4th of July. I thought that was kind of fun. I normally do like pink or purple, very girly colors, but 4th of July, I thought, let's go with blue glitter. <laughs> All right, and that just goes edge to edge with the card. And then this piece we're gonna put down. I think it's easier to do this first before putting the pinwheel on. It just is easier, because once you get the pinwheel on, it gets real bulky, and then it gets kind of hard to see and line up everything like that, okay? So now we're gonna put this inside the pinwheel and like 
trick here is, because I like to close it before I put it down, so you really got to make sure that you keep it right side up because you don't want to flip it around. You could, actually that would probably be smarter, to put this on first and then open it up and adhere that. Let's do that actually. <laughs> I think that's gonna be a little bit smarter than doing it the way I did it earlier. So we'll just close this up, adhere, strong adhesive. You could use tear and tape. Like I said, liquid glue would be fine too. We're just gonna center that in our little square here. Yeah, this is smarter than how I did it earlier. <laughs> Because I put the message on the inside and adhered it. And then I was like, oh, I really got to make sure I have it right side up. So now we can open it and put this on the inside. Yep, that's a better idea, Jen. See, you guys helped me out so much. Help me work through it. <laughs> so now we know it's going to be right side up. It's already stuck down there. Voila. Very fun, right? I thought that was so cool. Thank you so much, Joni, for sharing that little tutorial with me. I thought that was so cool. And thank you, Karen Titus, for sharing the instructions for this tutorial. That is just so cool. So there we have it. Like I said, quick and easy. You could make it so many different ways. Um, I like that little surprise message on the inside. So I hope you guys enjoyed this project. If you did, let me know what you think. If you're going to give it a try, I would love it if you would share it on my Facebook page and share it with the group so everybody can see your beautiful card creation. Um, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up or a little heart and let me know in the comments below. If you need any of the supplies, please shop with me, Jennifer Roke at stampinup.com. I would love the opportunity to earn your business. Again, don't forget, I'm going to remind you guys one more time. Thursday, we have new online exclusives and you have the chance to earn bonus days coupons, a $5 coupon with every $50. And don't forget to use my host code, okay? So have a happy and safe 4th of July and have a great week and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Happy stamping.